Hi, I'm Dr Richard Morris. I teach history for immerse education and I also teach at Cambridge University. The immerse students are really motivated on the whole. They come here because they want to learn about history, which obviously helps to make them enjoyable students to teach. And there's a lot of freedom to tailor the content that I teach to the students that I have, to their interests within history, the questions that they ask, the directions that they lead me in. Um, but also to share things with students they mostly wouldn't encounter at school level and to open up and expand the subject a little bit more than most people get to at school. I think it's wonderful to have these residential programmes as well where I can take students to see the collections that there are around Cambridge uh, and introduce them to historical objects while we talk about them in context. My students have really developed over the course of the MAS programme. They started off coming in with a really basic knowledge of the cardiovascular system. They didn't understand all the words that I said at the beginning and now they come out with really in-depth knowledge about the pathologies of the cardiovascular system and all of the structures of the heart. In the practical sessions they're now really good at suturing and dissections. They've really improved over the MAS programme. I based a lot of my content on uh, the work that I had done in my MBA. So it wasn't your high school theoretical content, it was, you know what, you're an executive at a company, you're a banker, you're a consultant, this is a problem you're facing, how do you think about it? How do you approach it? And kids had not really thought about things that way before. They had not thought about economics in a real world context before. When we talk about what is GDP, we don't look at the textbook definition, we look at what happens when you buy a coffee money that you spend in a store, what happens to it and how does that contribute to GDP? And I think it really puts a different lens on content they may have come across before. And they're learning it in a fun way where they're able to engage with it, where every now and again somebody's asking you, what do you think? And every single one of them grows in such different ways. Not only do they grow in their own knowledge and knowledge base, but also the skills, their research skills, their communication skills, their presentation skills. And I think it's a really um, great developmental opportunity for them. So the Career Insights program at Immerse is a two-week immersive program which gives students an impression of what it would be like to work in the field, uh, for me specifically in business management. So the mornings cover sort of the academic side, the theoretical side if you will, and then in the afternoons we do industry visits. So we visit uh, the Bank of England for instance. Today we're visiting uh, Barclays Rice Accelerator, which is a company that works with startups. So it's a great impression uh, for students to get an idea of what it would be like to work in business. So we try to approach uh, the teaching through project-based learning, which basically means it's not just me talking for hours on. Uh, we try to keep it as exciting and as engaging as possible. So obviously we have very small groups which allows for great uh, participatory activities. We have a lot of discussions, um, fun games and things like that to keep it exciting. One of the main skills they learn, which is, may not be something they do in school, is to learn programming. We use Python, which is one of the most popular languages these days, and it's a good, very future-proof language as well but also more, mostly about the abstract uh, problem-solving aspect of computer science, which transcends not just computing and programming, but also everything they learn in school as well.